What fetish will you keep a secret from the people you know IRL? I low-key like dick. I never would have guessed. Those sleep fantasies where you are sleeping and someone starts getting frisky with you and wakes you up a bit but you are already part way through. Edit. Man this flew up. Thank you to the strangers who gave me silver. Also, to people who are saying rape. I meant this more as a consensual act to help deal with morning wood. I do not whatsoever condone rape. OMG G G G yes that's also one of my fetishes SSS. I would be the sleeper in this case. When my wife and I first became parents we were so tired all the time that we didn't always get around to sex. We'd both often wake up in the middle of the night well into foreplay. Sleep sex became a thing between us since we'd fucking right after go. Who started that? I don't remember the beginning. Honestly had some of my best sex this way. There is a point you realize you were both asleep and now you're both awake and it's like we were both too stressed, tired trying to fall asleep but our bodies knew what they wanted and now we are here. I used to have a fetish for impregnation. After the first kid that killed that fetish, try impregnating adults instead? FBI has joined the chat. I constantly imagine how anyone I talk to will moan in bed. So much so is when they sigh I get an instant turn on. Wow, thank you for my new fantasy. Bro. Backs. I'm not talking asses. But like, bare female backs. I have no idea why but those are so goddamn attractive to me. Especially when you can see like, muscles or shoulder blades. I will never tell anyone I'm not in a relationship about this. I don't want women thinking I'm like, staring at their backs when they're turned away. Carrot 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 because carrot 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 I carrot 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 my carrot 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 be Edit. Tonight Reddit has made me feel a lot more normal. I thought this was way weirder than it was apparently. Poor dude out here just looking for someone to back him up. My wife can essentially orgasm just listening to my heartbeat. More turned on I get. Faster it gets. More turned on she gets. It's kinda interesting. But people would be confused. Edit. Was absolutely not expecting this. Thanks for the coinage. To answer some common questions. 1. No. She's not in healthcare. 2. How does it happen? Not sure. So she will get very turned on. Then my effort, if needed, is minimal. For example, I can use a stethoscope to listen to her when she's listening to me and I'll kiss her beat on her neck. That will do it. I can use that same technique elsewhere. 3. I don't think she knows what Dexter is haha. <laughs> Get her stethoscope for Christmas. We have smiley face. A uh, kinky winking face. Your wife ticks I'm attracted to anyone with a pulse to the next level. My wife likes it rough. I would never tell anyone I slap her around sometimes cause there is no way it comes across as anything but me abusing her. I slap her around sometimes consensually of course. I also do that with his wife. When people are being nice to me oh fuck that's very hot. Yeah, I'll give you a nice hug and ask how your day was you naughty slut. Do you want me to get you a glass of water? How about a compliment? I bet you're a hard worker and you're a responsible adult. You like that? I'll emotionally support you so fucking good. Stop my penis can only get so erect edit first award. Thank you. I bet you love this respect. I'll respect you so hard. I'm surprised by how tame most of these are considering this is reddit. Those are only the ones that are upvoted. You gotta get in the trenches. Son. That's where the truth lies. Forcing guys to switch to Linux. With a slow and seductive voice she whispers, I use Arch by the way. My girlfriend and I have a costume trunk. We seem like normal people. But any night we have free we roleplay sex together. My favorite is when she's dressed like an angel who doesn't know what sex is. And her favorite is me dressing up like a doctor and speaking in a clinical voice as her regular. Checkup gets out of hand lol. We've been together for some time now and it's like our go to hobby or form of entertainment. 
We'll even be texting ideas to one another during the workday. Honestly, it's like having several girlfriends lol. Edit this really took of lol. Thank you for the gold and the silver and all the other stuff. I've gotten a few questions as to how you can bring this up with your so. Well, I lucked out because she and I were into text-based role-playing games. And it's how we met. So working it into our sex life was like a natural nerdy progression. However, I mentioned this post to her in those questions. And what we suggest, if you're unsure how to bring up that you're interested in this, is to be like, oh hey, I was on Reddit yesterday and I saw this in SFW post I clicked it because I wanted to see how weird they got. Do you know people role play? How would you react if I did something like that? Like pose it in a way where you can back out if the response isn't positive. Don't just come at them like, hey babe, let's pretend tonight. You be Sailor Moon and I'm Tom Hanks from Big Go. Do you ever combine your angel and doctor? Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? I better check just to make sure. Yes. Lol yes I love that joke and yes we had a crossover. She was an angel lost from heaven that stumbled into my practice looking for help getting home. The doctor found all this talk crazy naturally and insisted on an examination assuming she had heat stroke or something. The angel observing no human modesty undressed unprompted to be examined and the fondling began lol nice try person i know in real life choking like my friend group makes jokes about choking sometimes but every time i'm just sitting there like haha jk jk unless a that's so common now i don't even hide it unless it's in a professional or family setting there were like 5 years where every girl I slept with was into it. Ranging from enjoying a hand around her throat with light pressure to wanting it so hard she was turning purple. Maybe it's just that I attract a certain kind of girl. But I'm pretty sure most of the girls I've slept with have been into it. I'm in a weird position where that and bondage are what I'm into but not in a rough way. It's hard to describe it but being choked or bound in a loving way is the best like they're putting a little bit of force into it but you can tell they're trying to make sure they're not hurting you. It's super hard to find examples of this. 2. Anytime you look up choking or bondage it's always hardcore and horrible. I feel you, like dominate me but be nice and loving about it. I really like sweaters. A woman in a sweater is so hot. I think it's because I'm attracted to knowing that they are warm and comfortable. Also it's super cuddly. Greater than a woman in a sweater is so hot. Especially when you turn off the AC. Stop, I can only get so erect. Dominant girls that are normally shy and or submissive. Shy in public but pin me to the wall in the bedroom. Yes please. If she comes in with a can of diesel for the drill though just run though just want a muscular woman to beat me the fuck up and gl ah death by s and u s n u the spirit is willing but the flesh is spongy and bruised i like inflatable pool toys a bit more than i'm supposed to my irl friends and family don't need to know that inflatables and their squeaky noises turn me on wait were you on a reality show no but i think i know which one you're talking about I'm pretty sure that guy has the same fetish as me. It's actually not as stupendously uncommon as you might think. Tongues. Like, not the muscle, organ, specifically, but like having their tongue sticking out. Sucking it when kissing, watching it when they talk. I dky I'm strangely attracted to it and it makes me feel like people would think I'm a serial killer if they knew. Mine is slightly up your alley. I could watch my crush's partners talk all day long. Mind you I would space out. Didn't give two shits about what they were actually saying. Something about watching their lips and teeth and tongues move drove me crazy. I too felt like a freaking serial killer haha. There was one guy the first dated for like two weeks that I was like, nah this isn't doing it for me lol. Naked women brushing their teeth. Something about the boob jiggle and the fact them pearly whites are staying pearly is just Just so nice Arararagi? Arararararagi Ironically, humiliation 
Same here. When I see people get picked on or just put in the lower social group I just get attracted to them and want to help. God I wish that was me. My wife you, Subterraneo still doesn't know I'm into political RP in the bedroom. I pretend she's Putin. Absolute madman fucking tagged her I'm done. I'm really into being treated well and respected. You sick fuck. Look who's talking, you, I suck farts out of butts. My thing is letting my boyfriend do whatever he wants whenever he wants. Giving him free and total reign over my body. And the more I get him, the more I want hi monsieur. I only recently learned of the term free use and I guess it kinda falls into that. My boyfriend is the only one in the world that knows how much he owns me. Okay, I've been recently realizing how much I love and crave the idea of this. But have been really frustrated because the type of man I usually find myself pursuing usually has no aggressive bone in their body. So they feel weird about it and don't like the idea of it. The worst part is that the softer, gentler the man, the more I want them to own me. And the more aggressive the man the more I want to own them. I genuinely wouldn't know what to do with that kind of power. Starve to death probably. Her, I want you to fuck me however and whenever you want me. Prost is to be too shy and keep the same sex frequency as before. This is the weirdest thing ever. But the sexiest thing to me is the mythical creature dryad. I don't know why I want to fuck a tree lady. But I definitely do. Edit. Dyslexia got the better of me. Sounds like a good way to get some very painful splinters. Edit. Most upvoted comment because of course it is. Maybe they just enjoy hard wood. I have a weird attraction to arms bicep area it makes me fantasize about a hug. You monster. People really out here premarital hugging SMH face with steam from nose. Y'all know the tricks bunny? No. Mine is a hand fetish. My name is Yoshikage Kira. I'm 33 years old. My house is in the northeast section of Morio. Where all the villas are. And I am not married. I work as an employee for the KMU department stores. And I get home every day by 8 p.m. at the latest I don't smoke. But I occasionally drink. I'm in bed by 11 p.m. And make sure I get 8 hours of sleep. No matter what. After having a glass of warm milk and doing about 20 minutes of stretches before going to bed. I usually have no problem sleeping until morning. Just like a baby. I wake up without any fatigue or stress in the morning. I was told there were no issues at my last checkup. I'm trying to explain that I'm a person who wishes to live a very quiet life. I take care not to trouble myself with any enemies. Like winning and losing, that would cause me to lose sleep at night. That is how I deal with society. And I know that is what brings me happiness. Although, if I were to fight I wouldn't lose to anyone. Oh my god yes. Yes yes. Hand bones. Long, thin fingers and elegant wrists a bit of visible blue from their veins or freckles. I'm also way too into freckles. Hands are so beautiful. It's not even always sexual for me. It can be. It's just that hands and freckles are the most beautiful parts of a human being to me. Is your name by any chance Yoshi Kage Kira? I am 33 years old. I'm really into moms. Username checks out. I have an authority fetish. Which I hear is fairly common. But I'm very confident and take on a leadership role outside of the bedroom monsieur so. I enjoy playing with someone who will force me to submit to the monsieur. Which I guess is very sub behavior. But it's specifically someone who is in a position of power over me. Like an officer in the military, police or a boss in the workplace. Additionally and occasionally, making those same people my slave for a night. But that's fairly rare. Had an ex who really wanted me to rape her almost any time we had sex. Problem was she wouldn't ever have a conversation about it. I think she got off on the realis monsieur so I'd start getting rough with her. Only for her to, in a hyper-realistic scared voice, beg me to stop or start acting like she was in real danger. So I would stop and ensure she was okay. 
to which she'd casually go, yeah, what's wrong? We'd start again in the same shit. I couldn't do it. Without explicit consent, I just couldn't bring myself to do it. But I'd be lying if the whole thing wasn't a turn on for me. Maybe someday in the future I'll find a woman who wants it and can explicitly verbalize the want. Ahead of time. Sounds like you're in desperate need of a safe word mine's chrysanthemum. Our safe word is meatloaf. Because I will do anything for love but I won't do that. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.